Welcome once again to Westchester Talk Radio. I'm Bob Marone along with Michael Blakey. We are live at the Sleepy Hollow Hotel and Conference Center in Tarrytown, New York. We're here for the 11th Annual Women in Business Award, sponsored by 9148. It's their 11th such event. We're made possible this afternoon by Saw Creative and made possible also by our partners, Robeson Oil, Hightower Westchester, Lacolas Electric, Michael Labriola Landscape Design, Tompkins Mayo Pack Bank, and White Plains Hospital. And we're happy to have one of the winners. Her name is Deborah Malone. She's Malone. Is it pronounced it's that Malone, way? It's Malone, correct. It's not Milo, because uh-huh. you've got an I in there. It's a Maloney. Maloney. <laughs> oh, it's Italian? It's Italian. This is an Italian Malone? <laughs> she made my day. <laughs> hey, gives it each. No, okay, I can. Uh, Bob Marone is talking with Malone. And she's the president of the Hudson Valley Gateway Chamber of Commerce. First of all, these are not easy awards to be recognized for and to receive. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Now, Chambers of Commerce are so much more hard work than anyone knows. Oh, and it's been crazy over the last 18 months. <laughs> uh, now, tell us about what you cover, what, what towns and areas you cover. Well, we're a small regional Chamber of Commerce. We cover Croton on Hudson, the town of Cortland, all its villages and hamlets, the city of Peekskill, and the town of Putnam Valley. Okay. Uh, you don't do Yorktown, though, right? No, we don't. Do, we, we have members from Yorktown, but uh, we don't cover Yorktown. I used to have a business up there. Everything is selfish, you know. <laughs> Got to make it about me. But let's make this very much about you. Uh, there are lots of chambers of commerce in Westchester. How did you bubble up? What makes your chamber so successful? Wow. Well, first of all, we are fully staffed. We are we are full time staff chamber of commerce. Wow. And um, that actually helps. A lot of the chambers of commerce have part time staffs or are volunteer chambers, mm-hmm. uh, but we have a full staff, and um, it definitely allows us to get more things done when okay. you have people working with you. Now, I need to ask you this because here you are being receiving an award when you might as well be hiding in in, in the forest. How did you get through COVID? Well, personally, I got through COVID at my dining room table, on my computer. But how did you get the the, the Chamber of Commerce to to be as successful as it has during COVID? This is rare. Well, I think all the chambers were were very essential during COVID for for the business community. We were the ones who were providing all the information on the grants, the PPP loans, the EIDL Mm -hmm. loans. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the other opportunities from the Economic Development Council in uh, the Hudson Valley. So we were receiving, we were like the clearinghouse. Mm -hmm. We received all the information, which we then sent out to our members. We also helped members uh, who were having difficulty getting the PPP grants um, and setting setting them up with small local banks Mm -hmm. who would do business with non-customers. So we were extremely, extremely busy during the pandemic, and um, I know a lot of members joined us during that time because they wanted they wanted the information that we were providing, and we worked very closely with the Business Council of Westchester and the Business Council of New York State. That makes sense. So uh, they, we were getting information from them, and uh, just sending it out to our members. So and it, it was really it was really a it was a good time and a bad time at the same yeah, at the but, same but, time. But but to come through it and, and wind up even being recognized for your work, people need to understand that. And and some of the things that you've said, mm-hmm. are particularly that you helped with the PPP loans and things like that, and that information, that was a very arduous process. And I'm sure that made people that drew people to you because in some chambers that I'm aware of, businesses dropped out. Because they didn't even want to pay their fees, they were, or they closed up. Well, yes, unfortunately, um, we didn't have that issue. Uh, thankfully, we had a lot of we had a lot of new members join. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there were b- businesses that we lost, but because they had to close down. Yeah. Um, but you know, I found it very rewarding during that time because I would speak to businesses as well, and you know, have conversations with them one on one, at person to person. And um, they felt they had somebody that they could call if they were having difficulties. And once they called me and they explained the difficulty they were having, I was able to connect them with people who could help. How long have you been in the chamber? And we're talking with other remind people, Deborah uh, Malone, and it's an Italian Malone, I'm proud to say. Hudson Valley Gateway Chamber of Commerce. 
She is one of the honorees today in the 914 Inc. Women in Business um, for her work with the chamber, particularly during COVID. This is, a, this is amazing. Um, how long have you been with it? I've been there 11 and a half years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, I, I this was my um, kind of retirement job. I had worked in television and publishing, and then I decided to do something I love. And this opportunity came, and I applied, and I was hired. How do you feel about this recognition? I, I'm very honored. I mean, you there have be. been wonderful women before me who have been... Uh, acknowledged and honored at this event. So um, I was thrilled this year when I got the email uh, from 914 Inc. saying that I have been nominated and they have um, they chose me as one of the honorees. So well deserved. I even I, got I, my husband to put a tie on today. So look, how about oh, that? Well, that is a big deal. Look, <laughs> this my, my compliments to you are sincere. I've run a chamber of commerce mm -hmm. and I lost a, a business during COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. And no, but but I can tell you. For people who got through COVID and had access to you, I'm sure they were very, very grateful. And I'm sure you were in a great chamber before that. But it's this you distinguish yourself. It was it was a, yeah. it was a challenging it was a challenging time. You know, going virtual, the Zoom meetings, things yep. like that. But as we say in Brooklyn, where I grew up, you've done good. <laughs> well, thank you. I grew up in Yonkers. My husband grew up in Brooklyn. Okay. Where, whereabouts? He was in Mill Basin. Okay. Well, okay. good for him. <laughs> well, listen, thank you very much for being on Westchester Talk Radio, and congratulations. Thank you so uh, much. From all thank of you us for having the radio me. station. Have a nice day. My best. You will give a fist because yeah. I know in the I'm time busy. of COVID. Come, come. All right, everybody, we're going to take a break. We have another guest waiting in the, uh, well, right next to the booth. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 